No, you gotta move it right in close. I can't even see it. No, closer. We'll get better groups the closer it is. How long have you been standing there anyway? You didn't see that whole thing, did you? That doesn't matter. Hello everyone and welcome. I mean it. Welcome to Wicked Gun Guys. So, freezing cold out today. Like, really cold. Like, I think it's like 10, maybe. I could look it up and show you, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to try to shoot some groups today. As you can see, I got a better scope on my Tika U1X. I got some more bullets. I actually have seven kinds to try, three of the kinds that we shot in the first video, which if you haven't watched the first video, you should click on this link that I'll probably put up and go back and watch it. But anyway, it's uh, a little too windy and a little too cold to do this, but I just want to shoot this gun, so we're going to do it anyway. So, I'm starting with this, which I don't have the box, but it's uh, the A17, so it's faster, 2650 if I remember right. Faster traveling bullet. Let's see if I can find some earplugs. Good. And we're just going to jump right into it. We're going to shoot seven groups, and then I'm going to measure them and show you how they perform in 10 degree weather with a 10 mile an hour at least crosswind. By the way, the target is at 100 yards. That's US standard yards, not that metric stuff. It would be like, what, I don't know, 300 meters. That one must be a bullseye because I can't even see it. Hold that one. Call me. Real mass. Whoops. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. The scope I'm using is a loophole. VX2 6 to 18, which is two and a half times the magnification I had in the first video. So I hope I perform better. So, second group is going to be CCI game point 20 grains, which we already shot, but not with a good scope. And my fingers are already totally numb. Might have to pause halfway through to warm up. We'll see. Here we go. Top right. Wow, this is way left compared to that last batch. An inch away from it. That's not very good. I can already tell this one's bigger. Not so good. Okay. Done. Fair. So with all my previous 17 HMR rifles, like I said, I've had three other ones, uh, the 20 grain shot better in all three of them than the, the lighter weight, but this one definitely seems to like the light ones. So this is that last five rounds of that CCI TNT green, the lead free stuff that shot really well. Let's see how it does with a better scope. My thumb. It's totally numb. Ah, I need a little minion behind me or something just loading my mag. I've never had frostbite before, but today's the day, I think. Let's 
see there's that hang up I talked about. It's kind of strange. Nothing big but annoying nonetheless. Alright, middle. See these ones are three inches to the right compared to those 20 grain, which is fine, I don't care. But it's just interesting to see. This the wind's gonna throw these lighter ones all over the place. Oh well though, at least you guys will be able to see the effect that the wind has on these tiny bullets. That's a big concern that everyone has with them. Is how much the wind pushes them around. Which, when you're shooting groups, it matters, but if you're just shooting at an animal, you can usually get away with three inches within 100 yards, give or take. So that one's gone. Let's try these. These are CCI 20 grain full metal jacket. So we know the game points to shoot super good, but maybe these FMJs will be better. That one was about four and a half inches down into the left. I really hope my downrange camera is on. Maybe that one down to the left is already there, actually. Find out. When I review the video. Alright, so we got one more group on this page, and then I have to switch the targets. So, Remington Premier. 17 HMR, AccuTip, Boat Tail. So these I thought were going to be awesome because I've shot center fire rifles with that, uh, this Remington Premier and it was always good, but I wasn't pressed and I actually got a lot of cracked necks after I shot. And even, even before I fired them, there were some with cracked necks, so not good. Alright, let's try it. Bottom right target. Got like a fifteen mile an hour headwind. Maybe I'll wait for this gust to pass. Pass? Pass? Too cold, I can't even talk. Ooh, I sure hope that's not a... Well, nope, didn't feed. Must not have pulled the bolt all the way back. Alright. Uh-oh, my target's moving. That's how windy it is. Shooting a moving target now. How good I am. Ah, that one surprised me. That's how good this trigger is. It goes off when you don't want it to. Not really. I just can't feel my hands. Oh, 
Oh man, that was a good group till that last one. I think I still have fingers. But All right, I need to go switch out that target because I only had five bullseyes on the paper and I got two more ammos to test. Alright. We got two groups left, 17 grain Hornady V Max and the 20 grain XTPs. I just switched targets, warmed my hand up, and now I should be good to go. Wind just died off. Probably these last two groups would be the best. The wind was definitely affecting those first five. There's still a couple that, I mean, they came in reasonably well for the conditions. But all you accuracy gurus are going to be like, it's not one hole in them. You shouldn't have even wasted your bullets shooting in this weather. But I just love to shoot. Alright, two groups. Do it. I'm going to go center. Had the makings of a good group, tell that one. Someday, somebody might put out match grade ammo for the 17 HMI. Someday. Because I know a lot of these, you get a one that hits an inch up, and it's just ammo inconsistency. Because there's absolutely no possible way that I made a mistake. Because I am such a good shot. It ain't even funny. Last group is 17 grain V Max quantity. I will do the bottom left. Okay, I'm going to show you. I don't know if you can see that, but the brass just kind of hooks up a tiny bit, but it's just enough to slow you down and you think there's something wrong when really you just need to do that. But, so far, only flaw with the mag as far as feeding goes. Oh no, my target blew over. Alright, so we're out at 250 yards from the porch. I got a groundhog sized bottle of soda it's flat and probably won't pop like I want it to so the porch is way over there it's a ways and it's windy so we'll see if I can get it at all all right so I just ran that two liter out there 250 yards like I said it's really windy so I don't know if I'll be able to even hit the thing my scope is just a duplex reticle meaning it doesn't have any hash marks for holdovers or windage so this is gonna be all Kentucky windage I'm going to take a few rounds to see where it's hitting and then adjust from there. So I'm going to use what I have the most of, which is the least accurate ammo, which is CCI 20 grain, full metal jacket. I'm going to load the mag capacity because I'm sure I'm going to need all 10. Because like I said, I'm a good shot. Nothing like watching somebody load a mag. That's compelling television. I mean, I'd watch it. I'd watch it all day. Alright, here we go. I'm going to hold it up a little bit. I'm going to hold it to the left because we have a right crosswind that's kind of ridiculous at this point. See what happens on the first shot. Hey, you know what I just thought of? 
It'd be really easy to hit my camera down there with this wind. Just gotta lob them in there. Ah! I keep doing that today. That was surprisingly close for a, for a shot. Oh, are you kidding me? Third time's a charm. Straight over it. So. I'm holding the scope just over into no man's land. Not even on any crosshairs at all. So, that's some accurate shooting. Basically, this was basketball. I would have just shot 10 air balls in a row in front of everyone, which I might have actually done before in actual basketball. It is right there. It's like one of those cartoons where there's you shoot and it's uh, basically silhouettes what the target you're shooting at with holes. That's what's happening right now. Not to try 17. I thought originally that the 20 grain would have less effect. Sure now. And barrels probably get warm. Oh, I grazed it with that last shot. Let's try these Remington's out. Now this is gonna throw off my elevation, but whatever. At this point, I'm just squeezing them off. Watching the report in the snow, which is good. I got snow on the ground. Hope my camera down there doesn't die before I hit the thing. It's just going to fall. Got you this time, boy. Wow, those ones are faster than hell. Crazy. one I hit it with actually punctured it and it drained it out. Now that I'm looking at it, it has no fluid in it and I just hit it again. So that's interesting. One more shot just for fun. One more. How about the whole mag? Now, remember, 250 yards, 10 to 15 mile an hour crosswind and 10 degrees fan height. It's for all you haters out there, the gun's doing pretty well for those conditions, I think. So I did hit it. Ugh, gross. 100 year old soda. It looks like there's three holes in it. I really expected it to kind of like, you know, pop, but it's 
I don't know where the expiration date is. Best Buy, September 14th, 2010. So, I didn't think soda expired, but that's all. Alright, so my battery died like halfway through. I don't know when it died, but we're gonna do take two. So I got the calipers, we're gonna measure these groups. Start with the A17 CCI. Widest point is under an inch, 0.84. In that wind, that's awesome. I'm a, I couldn't ask for more from that gun. Uh, CCI 20 grain game points are also under an inch, coming in at 0.95. CCI full metal jackets are uh, right at an inch. That's an inch, 1.01, .01, that's an inch. So that's one, two, three. Kidding me? That's four groups under an inch in that wind. That is 1.11, so just over an inch. That's the Remington 17 grain. Okay, second page, two more. We got the 20 grain XTP Hornady. 1.13, just over an inch. And the Hornady 17 grain VMAX. Comes in at 1.06, which is also just over an inch. So with that wind coming in five groups, just under an inch, that's pretty good. Did you look at that dog? He lives for this stuff. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm done shooting. Uh, the wind is kind of brutal on the 17, but I think it shot pretty good. Um, if you guys want to see some more videos with this rifle in particular, just drop it in the comments and uh, we'll see if we can get out and shoot it again. If you want to see something else, comment what you want to see. Maybe we'll shoot some other kind of gun. Never know. Anyway. That's it for today. Until next time, guys, see you later.